Do you know how to share and monitor task progress with your team members inside Microsoft Teams? In this video, I'm going to share with you step by step how you can do that within your Microsoft Teams. So if you have not seen my previous video on how to plan using Microsoft Planner, go watch it right now over here. So in this video, I'm going to use Microsoft Teams together with Microsoft Planner to monitor tasks that you can share with your team members as well as you can monitor their progress as well. So let's jump right into my computer and I'll show you how. Okay, right now I'm in my Microsoft Teams. Okay, so just go into the Microsoft Teams that you want to monitor the task. Right, so here I'm at the Sonic Teams and then let me show you the example okay so let me go to the demo sales channels demo here and you can see this is clean there's no planner anything at all so what you can do is just go to this plus sign right over here click the plus sign and then you can search now my task by planner is right over here now if you're not using it frequently it won't come out these frequent apps so all you need is just go search for T A S K, right? Task, it will come out, right? So, what you need to do is just click on it, okay? So, wait for it to load. And right now, you can see here, you can create a new plan, all right? Which is I'm going to show you a new plan. Now, if you already have an existing plan that you already share with your teams before, okay, you can click it right over here. And then you can search for the existing plan, yeah? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new plan. So if you do not know how to share a planner okay, to your team members inside Microsoft Planner, by all means, start here. It's easy because you can just come here and create a new plan and then give it a name. Right? Let's say here I want to have like sales tracker. Okay. So I want to have like sales tracking, so I can save it right over here. Okay, so once it loaded, now if you have not watched my previous video on how to set up the Microsoft Planner, it is the same thing, right? So right now, we're working it inside Microsoft Team, but the interface for Microsoft Planner is exactly the same. So go watch the previous video that I've done, and then you can see Right, there are two versions. One is a basic, yeah, where I show you how to set the different bucket, and then there's an advanced one, yeah, they can set according to your workflow. Let's say, for example, this sales tracker, I want to track on the prospects. Okay, so here I will put in maybe here to do is like prospects. Okay, who are the potential customers that I want to? contact them and then turn them into actual customers yeah so here the next one maybe i'll put in first contact right and then okay here presentation maybe if after first contact we're going to present to the customers right and then give a quotation okay then after that you can do the follow up okay at a new bucket follow up and close so this is a simple uh, sales tracker over here so now what you need to do is uh, instead of just add pass you can add a prospect name yeah so let's say this is a uh, Mary from ABC company. I can put it like that. Yeah. And then I can put another one, let's say Peter from another XYZ corporate. Okay. All this you can set this and then I can assign to maybe one of my sales uh, people. Okay, so over here I can just assign, yeah. So I can assign to any other people yeah, inside the team, right? And you can write your notes, right? And you can 
even like set a due date when they should at least contact them right what you can do here we can put in the due date that they should first contact them let me put in over here let's say i'm gonna do it on the six and then i just go and put here let me assign to myself yeah and then right over here then i can just transfer it to first contact so now once assigned to me myself or any of your team members they will get an email notification over here you can just do this these are more advanced you can do all your crm tracker within here and then everyone can know and at the same time here this is what we call a kanban board if you want to see a listing right you can do a listing and inside listing you can do filter so i want to filter by bucket i can do that right i want to do let's say first contact so i can see that first contact how many people are there supposed to contact them and so on yeah so this is a filter right the board is my favorite right this is a kanban board and of course you can see the charts as well you can see the buckets how many how many leads or prospects are in this first contact in the prospect list in the presentation so that these are your sales funnels now inside here you can track even your members what are the tasks or prospect assigned to them and what is the progress what is the status right now for each of the prospects so I hope this quick video will show you the potential of how to use this planner in your teams and help monitor their tasks. Now, there is no limit how many planner boards huh, that you can add to your Microsoft Teams. Let me do it another one. So go back to the task. I can create a simple task. Let's say I put task one, okay, save it. Now I got another board, right, called task one, yeah earlier one is in here the sales tracker so here i can put to do i can put in progress and then i can add here another one as complete yeah simple task tracking that you can use with your team members same thing you can just add any task assigned to the team members as let's say to do number one yeah i can set a due date assigned to anyone right i can set the due date over here now this task can even have repeat right you can have a recurring tasks being created if i want to add a checklist i can do that attachment right comments so anyone in your team can come in and put in a comments right so that it can help other team members to finish the task faster once you've done that if the this is assigned to me when i want to start work i can just move this in progress when i'm done i can move it to complete that's it so if you are the team leaders or managers you can come into the chart and you can see here by bucket that the task is already completed so if you have all the tasks imagine you can know that how many tasks is in to do and how many is in progress and how many is completed so you got all the status in one glance so i hope this helps you and if you like this type of content do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every time we publish new content you'll be notified so i'll see you real soon in my next video